let's come back and start with your properties of colloids so we have studied the preparation of colloids we have seen the differences between true solutions suspensions and uh, colloids and now basically we'll gradually like, we'll be going into the depth of the topic so properties of colloids very important why because in the chapter <coughs> if it is given for three marks they'll be asking you three different concepts that is from the properties only they'll be numbering it as one two and three they'll be asking you based on the properties only so study carefully there and different different concepts which i'll be teaching you and everywhere wherever the keyword is uh, there i'll be underlining that keyword also that so whenever you're learning properties of colloids it is studied under four subheadings basically that is kinetic property optical property electrical property as physical stability so in your ncrt textbook they've clubbed all the properties together nothing is bifurcated but only thing is let it though we learn under the different categories for us the concept is important we'll be seeing what actually is this topic teaching us so let us come back to the first concept that is your kinetic property so in kinetic property we are going to study about means kinetic means movement isn't it so brownian movement where we see the zigzag movement viscosity present in the colloids i'll be teaching you about the diffusion property as well as also color property also <laughs> done so now optical property i'll be teaching you about tyndall effect the simplest concept but let us see how can we remember that and also i'll be teaching about ultra microscopy and after that i'll be taking you into the concept called electrical properties in electrical property i'll be teaching you about a concept called zeta potential the <coughs> difference between you will be having a double layer which is formed with the charges we are going to learn there's one important uh, question also asked from that let's see that then in that electrical property i'll be teaching you about electrical double layer electrokinetic uh, potential of phenomena and charge of colloid so in the ncrt textbook it is given under charge under charge you have these two topics that so last but not the least physical stability uh, the very important concept where we'll be studying about peptidizations so we'll be seeing what actually is peptidization what actually is settling down of the particles there i'll be teaching you about stability of lyophilic as well as lyophobic salts i hope you have done already done the practicals in your schools where you your th teacher would have taught you lyophilic example as starch and your lyophobic <coughs> for your ferric hydroxide done so i'll be teaching you what is meant by protection of color Colloids, that concept also for two marks. And <laughs> once I complete these properties, I'll gradually go into the you know the key concepts where emulsion, like oil in water emulsion, water in oil emulsion. With that, I think your complete chapter will be done. Then I'll be starting with the board papers.